Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the February 19th meeting of the Board of Selectmen here at uh, Memorial Town Hall. Uh, first up on the agenda is, do we have any public announcements? Yes. Okay. Uh, just a reminder, uh, public hearing on the appeal of building inspectors issuance of a permit to Hatfield Solar, which was postponed from an earlier scheduled time, is now scheduled for tomorrow, Wednesday at 6.30 at Smith Academy. Uh, second, uh, Board of Selectmen, have a whole range of appointments pending to various committees and boards. You know, we're trying to close that by the end of March and uh, encourage you to apply if you're, if you're at all interested. And the third item, uh, we'll, and it'll be more about this discussed next week when we have a gentleman here from Piner Valley Planning Commission, but uh, we're going to be a public hearing on the 19th of March uh, regarding an update to our community development strategy. And this is a requirement of a grant submission that uh, relates to uh, center school. Anyway, the CDC or CDS rather is simply a, a document that summarizes our various planning documents and kind of our goals uh, for the way ahead. Uh, the hearing is a, is a formality, it's a requirement. Uh, welcome any input, however, uh, we're only looking at making some minor updates to the one that was just uh, completed what three or four years ago when we were doing the Hatfield redevelopment uh, technology and business park. Anyway, that'll be on 19th March with more information at our next uh, Board of Selectmen meeting. That's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, next we have, it doesn't look like it, but I'll bring it up. Uh, community form, doesn't look like anybody's here. So we'll get right into uh, the minutes. Oh. Motion to approve board select the minutes of 22 January 2013. Okay, motion made. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, next we have the town accountant. Yep, if you come up here. Well, let me uh, preface this for folks. Uh, recall a few months back, uh, uh, we asked Mr. Lyons to come in and kind of review with us the recent audit uh, the community had. And out of that, uh, there were several actions about you know, accounting manual, internal management control program. Uh, more periodic reconciliations with various departments, departments, uh, those kinds of things. And uh, uh, he was scheduled at that time to come back. Uh, at this point, kind of give, share with us where where he is on uh, resolving or addressing those uh, various findings from from the audit. So, Mike's here to do that today. Okay, uh, I apparently misled. Uh, some of you at last meeting, uh, after I saw the memo from, from Jeff to Paul about the Rita heads, that uh, I did I didn't mean to imply that I'd have all these done by today, but just to have a a review of where I am. Um, so although I have most of them, either procedures set up or have them done. Um, with the exception of number eight, which has to do with the uh, accounting financial policies and procedure, the internal management control program, I, I, mean, I, I must, I probably haven't given you a copy, but I gave that to, uh, I think I mentioned at the last meeting, I gave it to Mr. Scanlon. He, he was very happy with it. So that, that one I think is, is done. And I'm about halfway through the accounting financial policy procedure. I got the, the people on the north side of upstairs, the, the financial people, treasurer, collector, myself, and the assessor, and I've got a few more departments that have any contact or receipt of money coming in. And when I finish that, then I have to do the risk assessment report. 
and then uh, from that I'll be able to prioritize items for monitoring in the future. Um, but like I say, the, the GASB 45 and 54 are, are set and uh, we've got procedures in place for contracts and bids and contract and grant awards so that folks send, send me a copy of them as they're issued or finalized. Uh, the reconciliations, I, I continue to meet with uh, Marie, Brenda, and Ron Williams in the Food Services Department. Uh, in, enterprise direct costs, I, I have that done. Capital assets, uh, I have a project for Jenny. She's in Texas this week. But uh, to go back through invoices, I'll just do a printout of the invoices paid. And depending on the amount of the invoices, I'll just have her go check the invoice and see if it's a capital item. And she'll take a copy so we can give it to Mr. Scanlon. And then the timely submission of balance sheet and Schedule A, well, that's like way out for FY12, but as I pointed out, uh, it looks good for FY13, the way uh, we got these procedures in, in place for the reconciliations and what have you. I won't have to spend, hopefully, too much time in after we finish paying the last bills in July and hope to have the balance sheet in by September 30th and the Schedule A by October 31st of 14. Okay, how about, I, got nothing there, really. What about the current Schedule A? I'm bringing that to Florida with me, but I'll have it by the 22nd. It needs to be to the state before the 22nd. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that gets sent uh, electronically. Uh, yeah, my wife and I are going to Florida next Monday for a couple of weeks. And like I've done in years past, I usually mail down ahead of time a box of stuff from from Hat to Town of Hatfield stuff. But I'm just going to have Schedule A this year. And I, that one isn't, you know, again, there's a, a, a dash, just a dash of procrastination more than a dash. Uh, if I can just sit down with that and work on it only, it, it's, it only takes like maybe a few days, hopefully. Okay. Well, are, are you going to have it before the 22nd? Because as you saw from oh, yes. Department of Revenue, that's critical uh, to uh, oh, a bunch of other things. <clears throat> yep. How about yep. the sewer and ice, excuse me, the uh, snow, snow and ice report? Oh, that, that's the first thing I send. Like I said, that in like August. Oh, yeah. Last okay. Oh, yeah. yeah That's yeah. okay. Balance yeah. sheet? Current balance sheet? Uh, some of it I sent electronically to Terry, and I talked with him over the weekend. I bothered him at home, but he doesn't mind. He's a good guy. He's very helpful. Uh, but he's going to Florida next week also for one week. But hopefully he gets started on it this week and get it within the next week or two. Free cash certification? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. And it, oh, is it? It hasn't been certified yet. Yeah, no. I know. And that's it be should be at, at least, at least 445. It's probably uh, going to be more. Uh, when's it going to be certified? Yeah, we need to know when it's going to be certified. Well, I'll ask Terry when I get the... So have you done everything you need that's in? It's not all in there. I've got some that I, <coughs> I can't send electronically. I'm going down to see him probably tomorrow to bring the final papers. Okay, so it's him. But he's not going to be there next week, so <coughs> I'll ask him if he... if he think it might be the week after he gets back. I'm not... I'll, so I'll, within two weeks? Is that let's say right now, within two weeks... From, yeah, well, not two weeks, there's this week, and then there's next week he's not there. So it'd be the week after that. Okay. Oh, I don't have anything. So roughly you're looking at first part of March? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. For th free cash. Right. Yeah. I'm coming back the 13th, hopefully with a completed Schedule A. If not, I'll spruce up my resume. <laughs> How about uh, back, back to, you mentioned the uh, Internal Management Control Program. Uh, you got a draft on that. You going to share that with us? Yeah, so I can yes. see that soon. Or? Yeah, I'll get, right. I'll get a copy to you. Once projected completion on the accounting and finance mm -hmm. policy manual. <laughs> I'll have to begin finishing that up after I finish Schedule A. No, I, I, I understand. Uh, <coughs> this, this is February? something that's been around since two thousand seven or Way eight. Way back, yes, yes. Um, so I get concerned when I hear halfway, when I know the yeah, dates. halfway there. <laughs> uh, well, can I say another two months? All right. All right. Okay. The latter part of April. Fortunately, fortunately, these <coughs> stuff like this doesn't have to be done every year. So once, like, and once the, it's done, it's done. It's just yeah, right. right. Except, updates, except for the like monitoring yeah. portion of it. I understand. Is that it, Mike? So, yeah. So how many okay. meetings do you have a month? One, two. Oh, well, two usually. We'd be glad to have a special one to do the accounting <laughs> manual and the IMC and free cash and Schedule A. Got to get these things done. Well, for now, why don't we say if there's a second one in in April? The I mean, and hopefully I'll have it by then. Oh, and if I have it sooner, April, April yeah, because yeah. I don't even be able to start okay. until the middle of March almost. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's critical at Schedule A, as you know. Oh, I yes, I understand. And free cash. Yep. Free cash. Free cash. Those are two. Yeah, that's the only question mark on your sheet, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Mike. Right, thanks. Okay, next we have the fiscal year 14 capital and operating budget issues. Well, we, I think we're in a we're in a hold here until uh, Paul nails down. Uh, we've identified in a previous meeting, kind of our way ahead mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, and we, we talked to them. Uh, what what after listening to the various groups, uh, the finance committee met. On Thursday night, uh, they went through that. I shared that list with them, what we had decided at, at our meeting. Uh, they have a couple of questions about some of them, but I think we're, by and large, we're, we're, we're going to be uh, in sync with them. There, there are some issues we we'll need to work out, but uh, no, no major disconnects. But what we desperately need are things like uh, kind of the debt, What's, what debt is going away? What debt will be coming on? What does it look like? Uh, we, we need to see, are we over or under the levy limit? Uh, you know, what, what, what puts and takes make the tax rate reasonable? Uh, so we're, we're kind of in a hold. And, and what I was suggesting is that we meet next Tuesday, just in a working session to, to go over that. I know. Mm -hmm. Paul, the past few days, or early into last week, was trying to work with Louise in Florida to get some information about some of the debt. Uh, yeah. Talking about refinancing the historic 40-year lows in terms of interest rates. We ought to be looking hard at what debt might we take and refinance at this time and take advantage of that, bring down our, uh, our costs. 
Uh, there's a number of things going on, but quite frankly, we don't have anything today to right. to move forward with. No. So, uh, with with uh, additional information that uh, Mike, uh, actually uh, Paul can get from Louise about some of the financing aspects, we ought to be able to repackage the budget and have something hopefully available by next meeting. And if so. we if yeah. we met, say yeah. next week. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yeah. 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 And then take a look at that. And then that would prepare us Just out of that out of that we ought to be able to send something to the finance right. committee saying, okay, here's where we are now in advance of the five March meeting with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I mean the big the big yeah, I, the, the the finance the debt issue is a big one. Um, you know, seeing how, you know, we're, we were waiting to find out whether or not we got that, C whether or not we were going to get the CRF loan for um, the, the water main project. And, you know, we finally found out that, well, no, we're not getting it. So we needed to find out that to determine, you know, where we're, we were going forward, you know, with, with bundling the debt, whether it was going to be in or was, it was going to be out. So um, I know I talked to Louise last week, and she's uh, uh, having conversations with our uh, financial manager, and um, so we, we should have some. We should be able to start nailing that down fairly soon. So that that's a real big question, of course, because the other questions are out there is you know the free cash issue, which I've been waiting on. Um, and uh, you know, of course, the state budget as well. Um, the governor has presented his budget, but uh, we'll see what the house has to say. And so there's still a lot of question mm -hmm. questions out there. Well, my proposal for a way ahead is Paul take that information he gets yep. from Louise about what debt, the borrowings in and out, <coughs> what's coming on, what's going off, and run run the numbers and then let's Sit see down. where we are and see what adjustments we might have to make in terms mm -hmm. of timing of our capital projects or, or, or other issues. And then have that in advance of a meeting next Tuesday and then we, we forward uh, kind of our position on to finance mm -hmm. committee in advance so they'll have something to look at. And then we meet with them on the 5th mm -hmm. of, of March in a joint meeting. That sound like a way ahead? Sounds like the way ahead. Okay. All right, next we have the uh, warrant articles. Let's uh, try through them page by page. Uh, some of this is boilerplate. Yeah, uh, Article 1 and 2. Page are. 2, Article 5. Wh where, where did these numbers come from? These are, uh, these are last Recisions? year's numbers. These, these are... Uh, last year's numbers. Oh, this uh, is not this year's. No. Oh no. Oh, this is, this no. Is, <laughs> I was just. Uh, no, this is this is the money that has been sitting there for some of them. No, have this been is for years, hasn't it? Or, or wait a minute. Oh, okay. No, no. I'm sorry. I was I was. Confused. I mean, like the no, this is, reconstruction. Yeah, these are. Uh, this came from Louise. Okay, so this yeah. is these are these good are, numbers. These are, these are good numbers. Yes, yes. I don't understand Bridge Street reconstruction. One point four million sitting somewhere. No, that was done back in. That was like from two thousand and seven. It was. It says an unissued balance of. I mean, uh, I can't. I just. I mean, was was there a project? There was. There was. Wow, well, this is going back. I would have to say the ninety uh, ninety seven, up top. This this. By the way, it's, it's money that has supposedly all these. Well, we've got like one million four hundred that hasn't been used. Yeah, there was in our there account. Was the, there was the authorization to borrow. Um, oh, so we're not, yeah. we're we're not talking about real money. No. Okay. Uh, uh, I got excited. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I no. thought some of it was. I don't think so. so I th okay. I think okay. What this is then is. Uh, there was a pro uh, there authorization, was, was but not an appropriation. Right. Or we, we, or we, only, uh, we only appropriated <coughs> and expended X number of dollars, right. which was less than right. what 
town meeting had authorized. authorized. And this is simply an exercise to rescind it, those unused authorizations. Right. But I thought she said right. something about there was also there, some money. There is. I, there is. It's called, uh, remember, uh, I've got that listing, uh, tailings from mm -hmm. a variety of projects. Right. Uh, I might have it handy if... Well, there's no sense in trying through that now. Mm. But the, Mike has developed a list of, our town accountant has developed a list of uh, various, uh, what are termed, tailings. Uh, projects have been closed out and... X amount of dollars were appropriated for the purpose. Y was obligated and, and expended. There's a small delta left in a variety of accounts that mm -hmm. he's identified that that we that are available for mm -hmm. for use in a, in a manner like free cash, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, that would have to also be put on town meeting. Uh, I think we can act on that. There's the, well, there's two there's two sets of them, and um, actually, I, I need to talk to. Uh, Greg Winters about it, but I think there's there's one one set. Um, Just happened to have it. Yeah, the O3 funds. Uh, I believe that uh, the selectmen can can do these. Can do these. They can just close them out or whatever you want to do with them. But I think the, uh, the capital, capital project. project tailings that would need town meeting action. The, the but capital I, projects would. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. There's yeah. 36. But that's okay, these I, tailings I, now. Okay, we can. The projects are the projects are done. Yep, they're done. And, and there, there's dollars available. Right. And there's money left over that we can use. Right. So it's it's not a huge amount, but no, it's, I mean, but, but it's yeah, yeah. it's but it, we it's it just a matter of cleanup anyway. We ought to be doing this, and then we need to deal with these capital project tailings. As I understood it, you could use the capital project tailings for comparable projects of comparable length. That's my understanding. That's one of the things I but, need to uh, talk to Greg about. Okay, so there's another sum there that mm -hmm. is potentially available. Potentially available. So, anyway, we're... Well, this is just closing out. This is not money available here. No. It's Article 5. No. All right. Article 7. Uh, isn't there mm -hmm. some can language that we typically use? I mean, the... the Planning Board had drafted the actual yeah, mixed-use well, article, and we had the open public hearing, mm -hmm. and there perhaps were some minor changes uh, that yeah, were well, made. But I, was, I mean, B Bob's right down here yeah. working. Yeah, yeah, I, just, that down. I just need to get together with him to. Uh, but don't we have language like uh, it's on file with the town clerk or something like that? You mm -hmm. don't. You don't spell out. I mean, it's about this thick. Oh, the whole mixed-use bylaw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't, uh, you don't put the whole bylaw, you'd have a no. few hundred pages. No, just, just talk about the... Uh, it's yeah, available as for as review on file, at the, uh, as yeah, on file yeah, at the town clerk, yeah, some yeah. boilerplate. Same thing with the, the solar bylaw. Solar well, the, the meeting is tomorrow night. There should mm -hmm. be some decision and but all that, although that has nothing to do right. with the bylaw. No. Uh, no. Waiting for what, okay. what what version of the bylaw the planning board is going to put well, forward. We ought to pull Bob's chain <laughs> uh, uh, Article 11, is that, is that the right? We don't have to put in the, the sum. We just put a sum of money? Yeah. Okay, and then we put that in. We can put the, yeah, you can put, you know. The budget. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, t technically, uh, you can... Um, you know, put in a sum of money, and then you um, uh, you know you, you amend the article from the floor on town meeting. You know, but it's always better to to know what the number is ahead of time. But okay, you but don't have worst to have, case, yeah, uh, worst yeah. case if we had to publish before, we could we could just use a sum of money. Okay, right. perfectly acceptable. But ideally, we'll have the we should have it done by then anyway. Yes, looks like we're from our earlier discussion. We'll have the money for, for yes the numbers for town hall and the and the. I think it's 120,000 for the garage left. Uh, overlay surplus. I thought you had proposed uh, this is to uh, to set aside in the overlay surplus certain amount of funds to cover down the senior work off program and the 
Veterans Work Off program than you had proposed to? Oh, no, that, that's, that's, that's overlay. Um, what, what, what overlay surplus is, uh, is money, is overlay. That oh, this is the unused. excess. This I'm is sorry. the excess. Uh, I got that. Yeah. Got I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. So yes. um, the Board of Assessors right. certified overlay surplus, I think it was last week or the week yep. before. It's like $41,000. So that is av available to use. Mm -hmm. um, will not affect the tax rate. It's money that's already there. So um, you know, for some of these capital projects, right. you know, maybe we can use that money. Actually, Phil and I were talking last week about the uh, the roof for the highway garage, and you know, I think we've, yeah. we we've got fifty thousand dollars. Uh, a cost estimate on that. Phil seems to think it's, it's probably going to be less than that. So you know, maybe maybe we can just use, use overlay yeah. surplus for that. So okay. it's available, and we just need to figure out what we want to do with it. Okay. If anything. Uh, I thought I thought uh, Mr. Wagner brought in the CPA articles uh, a week or so ago. Yeah, the, and the, this is the, this is what he sent me. Um, so oh. th this is their first cut. Uh, okay, but the numbers are blank. Yeah, well, he's got to get together with the uh, town accountant um, uh, to figure out what kind of balances they have. But this is their first cut. Uh, oh, this they, is well. This is all stock. Every yeah, year they do it. All right. yeah. Well, the, the 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 next page goes on to list um, certain projects that they've already approved. Uh, and the dollar amounts, uh, he said there's, they will be meeting again because there's some other projects that they have not decided on yet. I was looking for our windows. No, no it's not here yet. You saw my exchange with Bob regarding his housing authority article. Okay, well. Uh, article 16, uh, we, we still got a bunch of blanks here to fill in and we're mm -hmm. racing toward a deadline. Is this something we want to continue to pursue? No. Just, just for fun, I, I realize anyone watching this doesn't know what we're doing. We're looking at uh, a very, very rough preliminary cut at the uh, warrant for, for town meeting and, and the articles uh, in that warrant. Some of these things are blank to be filled in with numbers. Uh, there's also some substantive things. One of the things we talked about, we're going to talk about it later and not to steal DPW's uh, good news, but uh, for a long period of time, we've had issues with, uh, with regard to CNS truck traffic in various locations. A uh, couple of things that came out of earlier meetings were one, uh, they agreed to change their ship to address. That's somewhat helpful. A second thing, there was some lighting uh, requested, which has been approved and being installed. And, second, and third uh, was uh, to put up some signs. And this was uh, kind of a difficult thing in that Department of Transportation, Mass DOT, does not really support putting up signs regarding private activity, private enterprises. Anyway, DPW has worked this through some contacts and uh, DOT has come back to approve two signs uh, regarding uh, truck traffic going to CNS, which should be a big help so we got we got that piece, and CNS also has agreed to pay for those signs. So we've got the design, the locations of the signs. It's just a matter of executing. Uh, there's there's been one other piece talked about, and that is changing the address of CNS. Of course, that's finally up to them, not not us. Uh, but well, it should it should be kind of a joint thing because all their documentation will show one address, and it's not inexpensive to change that, but. One of, one of the things they're talking about changing this name of the road to. Did you talk to them at all about that? 
Well, the initial discussion was, you know, of course it's going to be costly them to change every invoice mm -hmm. and every ship to and every other thing that they have going on, all the propaganda there. Uh, my recommendation is to take it off the warrant for this year and see how the signage works. I mean, you can always revisit it at a later date. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're aware of it, and, you know, then you would have an ex you know, a reason to change that address is if the signage isn't working. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did their part in changing the ship to address, and we've done our part to go ahead through DOT to get the signage, so let's see how it works for a year. Well, the other thought in connection with that was even if you change the signage, your GPS may still show plain <coughs> road as the most direct route. In, in a no, I don't see how. Some time. I really can't see how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going down 91, yeah. I guess I guess my question would be, how can we get that corrected? Does anybody have any clue of how to get it corrected? What's, what, what, uh, as far as the mapping through a GPS system. Uh, well, the only thing you could do is to. You know, I mean, it's over a satellite. I, mm. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. Because number one, I, 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 I mean, it, the truck, G, I mean, if most of these truck drivers, they should have a truck GPS, number one. Mm. So they're not going under low oh, bridges yeah, or, under, you know. Underpasses. Underpasses yeah. and everything else. A bridge, bridge weights. I mean, as it is now, I mean, Chestnut Street bridges is, is posted by the state. Mm. I mean, the GPS should correct that but I mean it they have updates that you can put in but I don't know if people do it or, or not I have no idea well uh, the question here is do we want to put this on well we need coordination with <coughs> CNS, CNS you so. know, in all events if we're going to pursue it the question is do we think it still well, has value well I mean we don't have to decide today but right I think you know Phil says maybe just hold off on it see what the signage does we can try that. Okay. I, I agree with that, too. Let's, so let's just defer this one. Okay. Uh, what, what do you need from from folks to complete these other, like from Phil? What do you, do you need some language oh, I, from I, Phil I, from, um, for all these capital items? Or? Um, I think I, I'm, I've got, you know, I've got all the numbers. So, you know, I just... Um, as I was working on this, um, I just wanted to, you know... Put placeholders? Yeah, yeah, just placeholders. Okay. And I don't need anything else. I just didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want to forget about them. Okay. And uh, on Article 18? I think that's all set. Okay, all set. Uh, 19? Is there yeah. still a question as to what goes in there? Um, yeah, I just need to coordinate with uh, uh, Bill O'Neill, but I know I think I think the the basic issue is um, number one, uh, <coughs> who issues the permit, and number two, uh, well, who's the enforcement authority on this? The 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 bylaw that was passed was silent on both those issues, so it makes it rather worthless actually. So, um, but I need to coordinate with him on that. Okay. Well, you. you you have the town clerk has the attorney general's comments on the right. Thing. Well, I, that's, I, that's which I drive. Have, I have the comments. Okay, myself, which drive actually. whatever we need to yeah. change. Yeah. Uh, what oh. about Article Twenty? Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just got an email from uh, the town clerk last week, uh, and because this has been a question because there were some big changes in the animal control legislation last summer um, and whether or not this was going to affect our local bylaws. Um, one of the changes uh, now is that um, fines that are issued by the animal control officer can be no less than $50. Um, I looked through our bylaw and I didn't, I didn't see anywhere where that issue was even addressed. Um, so Louise was going to look into it and get back to me, um, okay. but it, it, it looks to me like yeah, we're going to have to we're going to have to amend the bylaw somehow or another. Okay, so that's still open. You're working yeah. out with Louise. The other thing is what what did what did Bill O'Neill have as a suggestion to address the problem? 
that we have uh, here in town about one neighbor. Oh, well, yeah, he had, um, yeah, he had, I mean, he had a couple of options, you know. Uh, he had some bylaw options. Yeah, so. he had some bylaw options, which I have not included in here so yet. So let's, let's, um, let's surface those before yeah, we finalize this yeah. thing, decide whether or not we're going to put them in there. I know one of them, one of them dealt with uh, having setbacks yeah. uh, for animals. Let's just uh, take a look side at side yards, and and then there, there was a uh, another one that talked about um, the right to farm uh, bylaw that is currently in place. Amending with, that. Amending that so that it would only apply apply to commercial farming um, and not to hobby farming. Um, yeah, in you know this instance with the roots, or it doesn't, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a typical really, I, farm I'll, animal, I'll be honest but from with you, my I hate to go that it's far actually, because it's actually a pet. Yeah. Um, well, so um, those are those are a couple couple of things that he uh, drafted some language on, and you know, so we. Well, know, but I, I don't know as I personally I I don't know as I'd want to go that far because. I mean, some people may want a, a half a dozen chickens mm -hmm. in their in their yard. Uh, you see them everywhere, you know. Yeah. Oh, I know. You know. I know. I know. Um, and if we're gonna start, if we're gonna start telling people they can't do it, no, we're not saying that. No. No, we're not no. saying that. You know, because they're not full time farmers. I uh, I don't really want to. Rather not go down that road if we can yeah, help it. Yeah. You know? Because some of the things we're talking about here is, are, are, you know, zoning amendments. So that should probably really come from the planning board. Yeah. So. Well, I would uh, just yeah. bring you back what yeah. Bill had proposed, and yeah. uh, we can see yeah. where we go. I'll, I'll, uh, if anywhere. So we got a lot of work to do on these to clean them up and finalizing yeah. them. Uh, we need to also look at sequencing. Yeah. Uh, some of these it makes some mm -hmm. of these things make better sense when they're one behind another. And then uh, schedules another thing. When all these mm -hmm. things, I don't have the master schedule here, but I know they're they're supposed to be all in by now. Mm. Um, so you're not yeah, the, crushed at the last minute. Yeah, and there were there were a couple of uh, things that we were talking about that I pulled out of here. Um, one of them was the. Uh, the Medical marijuana issue, which I believe. Well, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had an exchange with uh, the chair of the board of health and planning board, and in fact, I talked to Bob this morning. And the board of health supposedly is going to have some discussion at at their next meeting. Okay. So. Okay. See what comes out of that. And, and for folks listening, what it is to. It was an initiative passed about medical marijuana use, and there's some issues about establishing local controls uh, as to where things might be best cited. And many of the uh, restrictions or guidance used for cigarette sales is also applicable to to this. So as it can be used as a model. Anyway, a uh, number of communities are looking at this where where it might where such activities might be best cited if they come to. To town, and we're taking a look at it. All right. All right. Next, we have oh, yeah. classification management committee. Paul. Yeah, I just uh, uh, we sent out letters to uh, the folks who were worked on the uh, classification plan uh, for the town uh, last spring. So these just went out last week. Um, okay. So I haven't, you know, heard back from anybody yet. Um, of course, Penny Geis was one of those individuals. She's moved out of town. Um, so we didn't send one to her, but um, I think from our last discussion, there was a consensus was that uh, if all the four people that we sent letters to um, you know, we're willing to serve, then, then I would be the 
the, the, the yeah. fifth individual on the committee, which which actually makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll see where uh, where how that pans out. Okay. Next we have the CNS truck issue, but I think we'll have the DPW director take care of that along with the MassWorks application. Do we have the, the meeting on that is 20, what was the date? 25th. 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 Uh, just for folks, uh, one of the, we had a MassWorks grant requests for water and sewer work along Route 5 and 10. Uh, we did not, it was not supported and we have a debrief from head of mass works virginia mcguire scheduled for the 25th of of this month see so okay. how we might strengthen our application is uh peter colcock coming to that meeting too he's aware of it paul's kept him in the loop mm -hmm. yeah. uh, whether last time he did come whether he comes this time i'm we're not we're not certain but we're pressing on with the 25th one o'clock okay uh, board of schedule Board of Selectmen scheduled with the Finance Committee. We've already got that. 5 March. March. Are March. we agreed for next Tuesday? Next Tuesday, yep. Uh, I don't know, 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock is Just fine. a working group. Yep. Um, next Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Yep. And, and the focus is budget, period. Get right. our next we have stuff together. The ambulance abatements. Yeah, it's, uh, Wait, it's that? just January that needs to be abated. And um, just for your information, I've, I've been trying to get abatement policies. Um, and uh, I talked to someone in Amherst a while back, and they were supposed to s send it to me, and they never did. And I uh, got back in touch with them, and they said, oh, we don't have, we don't have it in an electronic form, but I'll send you this. So this is, these are the... Uh, um, ambulance waiver policies from the town of Medway, so at least it's 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 some place to some place to start. I haven't really even looked at them yet. Uh, but, uh, let's not try to close on the yeah, table. Let's uh, yeah. go ahead. I move to approve adjustment of the ambulance uh, billing in the amount of nine hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty nine hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty-eight cents for the <coughs> month of. January 2013. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Next, we have DPW Director. Yes, in your packet, there's a water and sewer abatement mm -hmm. uh, for Kathleen McCoy. <clears throat> uh, what happened there is that the meter jumped. One of the zeros jumped to a one that generated the amount as you can see in the past, it's only been a minimal charge, and she had over a thousand dollar bill. So I'm recommending that the abatement be granted in the amount of nine hundred nineteen dollars and eighty cents. I move to approve uh, approve water and sewer abatement for sixty two Main Street, Building Five, Unit Three, as submitted for in the amount of nine hundred nineteen dollars and eighty cents. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And just to follow up on that is that we've pulled the meter out of that unit and sent it to the company and they've replaced it. So, <coughs> so it is that mechanical? <coughs> I'm assuming it's a mechanical yes. operation. Yeah, so what happened is when the meter went to change, it tripped that one number to a one instead of a zero and mm. generated the prop. Spent, spent a lot of water quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do you have? Uh, the only other thing is I want to, you know, give congrats and, you know, for all the hard work the guys did over the blizzard. Yeah. I think that they were out there, you know, banging their heads around. And uh, I think that the town was one of the better ones within the district. Uh, I did have the unfortunate opportunity to drive elsewhere. And, uh, you know, the Hatfield Roads were by far one of the best around. So I just want to thank them for all their hard work and putting in the long hours. I did have a couple people comment that <coughs> the roads were in very good shape early in the morning. So, again, uh, congratulations to all of you. Keep up the good work. <coughs> yeah, I apologize. I meant to say something like that in the <laughs> introductory remarks. 
A few other things. Uh, the Mayans lost control inspection report. Uh, the answers were due out back to Maya on the 18th that we answered. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Corrective action on the... Yeah, very minimal. Uh, we cleaned up most of it that was on that report. So. Okay, have we, have we answered Maya? That's We're going to answer them now. Now that everything is just about done, there's a couple things that weren't, you know, accomplished. But well, you could just give a yeah. projected completion date on Correct. the ones that aren't done, but just close it out. Uh, tree program with CPA, are we on track with them now? We're on track. The letter's going out this week. Okay, and I did have how we're managing that? All right. Yes. Uh, Mr. Quadro's request on plowing from Mountain Street to 309 Rocks Road. Yes, that was, was answered through uh, Paul's efforts and myself. I did meet with uh, <coughs> Williamsburg, and they have no problem with him doing the street, so... We didn't want to change the agreement that's in place, so we're just giving him, you know, our blessing that he can take care of the road as needed. Uh, but we don't want to change their agreement just in case something changes hands up there. We want to keep that agreement in, you know, in place in case, you know, Williamsburg has to go back there to plow that road. So we don't want to change the agreement, and that's the understanding that. Okay, so it's on a handshake, but yes, we're okay. The agreement's in, you know, the agreement stays as is, and he can take his grader out in the road and take care of it for him. Remember that. He, he came to see me last week. And I said, and I told him, you know, that we don't have a problem. Williamsburg doesn't have a problem. You know, we're not going to officially change the agreement, but, you know, you know, you can, for liability issues, but, uh, uh, you know, so, so we're fine with it. So he was happy. And okay. So there we All are. Right. That's good. Mm. <coughs> All right. Anything else? You good? Uh, we want to talk about the equipment repair, and or do you want to do that some other time? <coughs> um. Well, as far as vehicles, and we, got, we can do it some other time. I don't know. Well, due to while the emails going out, and there's a couple of uh, documents that people should have read. Uh, that we just generated within the last day or two. I think that maybe can we do it at the working session? I guess. Okay, right, that's that. true. Yeah, that's I was going to kind of suggest. You know, cause that I'd because I'd like to run that by our yeah mechanic. That's fine. That's fine. To see if he's comfortable with. All right. That. And and Bill, we promised yeah. to yeah. engage Bill. Promised Bill that he, he was going to look it over too. So. Uh, So put that on the agenda for mm -hmm. the, uh, two things. <laughs> working session. Okay, Paul, I guess, uh, okay. what do you have for us? All right. Just a, a few things. Um, I put some information in the packet there, an email from Paragus, and then some information from the Hampshire COG regarding their IT program. Um, our current contract with Paragus for IT support um, it expires the end of this month. Um, and w uh, under our old contract with them, it was, it, um, you know, it was, a, it was a good deal for the town. And, and I know the town had looked into possibly joining with HCOG there uh, a while back. Um, and found that you know staying with the current agreement was was more beneficial, but they don't offer that type of contract anymore. And um, based on my conversations with Paragus um, and with uh, HCOG, um, it seems like we will do better if we join the HCOG IT uh, program rather than go on our own. I did. There was some confusion. Um, because the information that I had gotten from uh, HCOG was that their the normal contract contract, as they call it, is $105 an hour, and, and under the Hampshire IT contract is $82 an hour. Though uh, the email that I got from Paragus, they quoted $90 an hour. So I I asked them about that, and uh, she explained that the $105 an hour was for if you were a new. Um, a new client, um, and 
uh, ninety dollars if you were a you know re Established. recurring client. So uh, s staying or uh, going with uh, Hampshire IT still going to save us money. Um, and the other good thing about this is you know, the more communities join the Hampshire IT, the rate is going to go Ooh. down. Um, so actually, as it stands now, uh, with the Hampshire IT program, it's it's the Hampshire COG and the town of Hadley. That that's, It's a pretty new program, so uh, we will be the third entity to join and hopefully other you know communities will I think West Hampton I was, gonna, be, I was at a meeting last too. week and they're okay. talking about and there's a couple other communities yeah, looking so at it, it, as well. se it seems like the way to go and uh, well, as long as it's not costing us more no it should cost us less uh, so I had um, the Hcock draw up uh, a contract for us um, and I've had uh, town council review it, and he's fine with it. So um, this being the last meeting before, uh, well, no, I guess not necessarily. Uh, March 1st, we do have a contract that we, we that is ready for signatures. Uh, what's the period of the contract? Um, are we doing this one, one year one at a time? Year. One year, yes. Uh, what's, can we uh, withdraw if there's a yeah, there's, with notice? Uh, yeah, there's, um, if, if there's a problem? And, and, and one other question while you're, while you're there. Maybe Keith's got the answer to this as well as anyone. What's our service like then? Uh, what's it? been like with Paragus. So we had, you know, what, a year ago or a year and a half ago, some significant problems with our computers here and and we were better off than the the HCOG program at the time because essentially we had unlimited calls and service. Whereas here it's each time you call you get you get a bill. Well, we had we had all kinds of problems with Paragus earlier. Have they gone away? Because the HCOG program is with Paragus as well. I think that was over the phone line, wasn't it? Oh, oh. No? Didn't we have an issue with that? I just don't know what an alternative would be. Okay, well, has the service from Paragus is it meeting your expectations? Very okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, I was. Uh, all right. We were having, I was having problems with. I venue. was having some problems with them last summer, being non-responsive, um, and actually, in, in talking with um, uh, the gentleman at HCOG, they were noticing the same thing. Frank uh, Bertis. Yes, um, that has been resolved. Um, our our service rep Scott. Um, you know, he had t told me a while back, and this, so this was late in the summer, that um, they had hired a new individual. Okay. I said, so is he replacing someone, or is this a, in addition to? He said, it's in addition to. He said, oh, and they were just, you know, they, were, they needed to hire more staff, and they did. Okay. So they've been, they've been very responsive lately. Okay. I haven't had any problems with them at all. All right. So... Anyways, yes, there's a sever severability clause in here, um, and it says that, uh, um, as set forth in the Paragus Agreement, the town may discontinue participation in the Hampshire IT program upon 30 days prior written notice okay. to HCOG and the contractor. Okay. And... So... Okay. I, I will move to approve the contract with Town of Hatfield and Paragus as submitted. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. This is a signature thing for later. Um, yeah, just a you know a quick update here on on the renovation projects. Uh, we've already discussed this earlier, but more for the sake of uh, people who are 
listening to the meeting. Um, the town hall re renovations are, are proceeding. Um, the schematic designs have, have been approved. Uh, the architect is, is moving ahead with construction documents. Um, so we are looking to uh, get that project out to bid around the 1st of April. Um, one, a couple of things that have come to light uh, in the process. And that's phase one, I, what was approved at last town meeting, the funding for. Funding for, yeah. Okay. So that's, that's phase one, some build out of some offices. and the Build out gym. some offices and handicapped bathrooms, essentially. Um, uh, we do not have enough money to do the elevator project. Right. Um, that needs to be dealt with down the road. Um, in phase two. In phase two. Uh, but one thing that has come to light is that uh, we really need to replace all the windows in the, in the former gym area before we can really proceed with construction. So we're, we're proceeding with that. Though we haven't got the funding for it yet, but we do have an application into uh, the Community Preservation Committee to fund that project. So hopefully that will take place. Which will have to um, also go to town floor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing that has come to light recently is that uh, there's been a question about, you know, are we going to have to sprinkler this building or not? Um, we don't have to do it uh, in phase one. You know, there isn't enough uh, renovation activity uh, occurring that would trigger that. However, um, if and when the uh, elevator project goes in, it will trigger that. Um, so the, the, the elevator project now uh, uh, is coupled with a sprinkler system, which um, we're, we're talking, you know, another $200,000 to $300,000 to uh, install that kind of a system in the town hall. So that is where the town hall renovations are. Um, I think, you know, and we're still looking at a substantial completion date, you know, in, in I'm probably probably October uh, at this stage of the game for phase one for phase one on the garage renovations uh, once again uh, and, and just for folks uh, mm -hmm. we're packaging up something for town meeting on the phase two that we've been <laughs> talking about here the the elevator the uh, new ADA compliant entry uh, HVAC look uh, and the fire suppression. Yeah, and likewise with the garage renovations, the schematic designs have all been approved. Uh, the architect is uh, moving ahead with uh, construction documents, and once again, we're looking to uh, have that project go out to bid uh, around the around the first of April. So everything's moving, um, and uh, we'll see how the bids come in. Um, on the center school project, actually, we've already covered that because all I wanted to mention was about the public hearing on March 19th and the need to update our community development strategy um, and applying for funds to uh, do a study on the center school to find out the, uh, uh, what the best use of that building might be. And the associated costs with make it compliant and fit that best use. So that's all I have. Cable committee. Yep, I see we have and uh, one hiring of a manager. Of we, where are we? How are we doing on that? Well, oh yeah, well we've got a um, got that resignation as well. Yep. Yes, got, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that. Yeah, uh, we had uh, two applications for the um, station manager. <coughs> right. Um, uh, John Novak being one of them, and Tyler Geis being the other. Um, and uh, yeah, no official action has take, been taken on that yet. Okay. So but that will happen probably today. Okay. Uh, get a resignation. Uh, no. Move to accept the resignation of Mr. Paul Duvall from the cable Access Committee. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 
Aye. Um, Paul, if you could just send him a, a note, nice just thanking nice. him Thank for his letter. time served. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Uh, there was a, a note in here from PVPC about the Hatfield pro profile asking for some updates before the 15th. Uh, we farm that out? Mm hmm. Okay. And there's also something in there that asks if we want copies, and yes, we do want copies when they, when they finally publish it. Uh, and just to close the loop on something that's been pending for a few years, uh, when town meeting approved the CPA article to restore the front of the Congregational Church, uh, there was supposed to be a preservation restriction uh, agreement uh, entered on the, on the title, and that's finally been completed. Uh, bless and learn next time we do that before they do the work, <laughs> not, not after they do the work. But I, I mentioned uh, in the introduction, uh, we have a number of appointments coming up, various committees and, and boards. Are, are those out there? Do folks know what's on the website, what's available? Does, does John have it for the... There's some things on there. No. There's a long list of... Vacancies? These are to come back, yeah, to come back up for I just have appointment and reappointment. There's uh, about six or seven vacancies that Louise gave me. Yeah. Well, why don't you? Why don't you make sure somewhere we get these things published so folks know what what opportunities are available. And we've gone back to folks that are encumbering some of these positions, asking if they're still interested, but other parties may be interested as well and want to be considered. So it's an opportunity to participate if they choose, but they need to know what's available. Right, so one way or another, get it out. That's all I had. All right. Well, and, I, and I did provide you some comment on the CDC, CDS this weekend. Right, okay, good. All right, so we will be meeting next Tuesday, 8 o'clock. Just go over the financial. Yeah, and, and this. Our financial one plan, one. hopefully it's going to work. It's got to. <laughs> <laughs> one way or the other. I, I love it. We have time meeting, I love it. You have to have it so it fits. <laughs> we finally get it closed. Okay, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. All second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank very you very much. much.